Twice a day, a hidden world becomes visible to the naked eye. When the tide goes out, rock pools emerge. These intertidal zones can be found all around the world and cover around 1.5 million kilometres of coastline. With millions of people visiting coastlines each year, rock pools are important educational and recreational resources for children and adults alike. But what lies under the water surface? During the day, different creatures hide among seaweed and under rocks. It might not seem obvious, but these pools are an extreme habitat with warm, salty waters and low oxygen levels. But look long enough and you may see crabs and starfish, anemones and urchins, or even some fish. Rock pools act as nursery grounds, whilst other organisms spend their entire lives here. Species inhabit the different zones of a rocky shore, so each pool could hold a new surprise. A typical inhabitant of rock pools is the common limpet. They are found in all three intertidal zones, but often overlooked due to their inactivity. Given time, these mollusks show movement. When the tide goes out, they retreat back to their home spot to stick onto the rock. This clever trick prevents them from drying out. For some, however, this won't save them. Another inhabitant of rock pools is the dog whelk, which is carnivorous and feeds on other mollusks. With their strong tongue, they drill a hole in the limpet shell and suck out the flesh within. Only the empty shells with a hole are what's left of the common limpets scattered along the beaches. But all shelled organisms are threatened by a larger issue which weakens their shells, ocean acidification. By burning fossil fuels, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere increase. CO2 is absorbed by the ocean, making it more acidic. This reduces the amount of carbonate ions which mollusks need to grow. With weaker or smaller shells, species are more easily killed by predators, causing a decline in some populations. To slow down ocean acidification, we need to burn less fossil fuels. You can help by first calculating your carbon footprint, eating less meat and dairy, being mindful of what you purchase, and flying less can all help reduce your carbon emissions. Luckily, many organisations are also working to protect rock pools through reducing litter and promoting codes of conduct for visitors. Citizen science programmes such as ShoreSearch by the Wildlife Trusts help measure how rocky coastlines are changing. By taking these steps together, we can ensure a strong future for our ocean and the shelled organisms living in or along it.